Hi guys, I thought I'd put together a quick video to show you how to make or how I make playlists for my Garmin Zumo using Windows Media Player. So the first thing you do is you want to hook up your Garmin Zumo to your computer assuming that you already have an SD card installed. Otherwise that would be the first thing you do. If you do have an SD card uh, installed, when you hook up your Garmin, you'll uh, the, the uh, file explorer will pop up with different uh, folders and of course you'll have your Garmin Zumo here and it'll have some type of drive number just depends on your computer and then under that you should have removable disk and some other drive number so you want to navigate to removable disk and this is where I keep all my music files and where you would keep all your music files now I keep my music files in separate folders that are associated with separate playlists you don't have to do that I don't believe I think you can put them all in one folder and do it from there but I'm going to show you this way because I keep everything neat and organized and it's a little easier for me so uh, when you first open this up you're probably going to have some folders and such in there that that came with the uh, SD card you can you know pretty much get rid of all the stuff that's on there if you want to um, but you you are going to need um, this folder right here mp3 and you probably won't have one, so you're just going to create it, and it's very simple. You just come up here to New Folder, and press that, and then name the folder. You would name it MP3. Now, since I already have an MP3 folder, I'm not going to make another one, but instead I'm going to make another music folder, and I'm going to call it U2. So this will be my U2 playlist. Now, as you can see, I have one called Motorcycle Rock, and that's a collection of all different types of, of music, not strictly by, um, by artist. So you can do it, set it up however you want. So in my U2 folder is where I'm going to put my music files. So I'm going to reduce that window, and then I've already navigated to where I keep my music, and I've already selected U2, the Joshua Tree album. And I'm just moving the file, the folders around here so I can kind of get to things. So here's my music folders. I'm sorry, my music files. So I'm going to control A, which selects them all, or you can click with the shift key. And I'm going to drag these files over here into this folder. I know a lot of this is pretty elementary for most of you, pretty rudimentary, but I wanted to explain it. So it's going to show the progress right here of the music files being copied over. I just want to make a quick note that you want to make sure that your music files are in MP3 format. If they're not in MP3 format, there are numerous ways to convert them. The easiest way is with iTunes, I think. Um, other people may have other opinions, but uh, if you do a web search, you can find easy ways to convert your uh, music fo files from either... Um, you know, Windows Media files or, or iTunes files, and you can convert them to MP3s. But they do need to be MP3s if you want to play them on your Garmin Zumo. So now the important thing here is to make sure that you're operating from within your Garmin Zumo's folder. Okay, so here's my U2 folder that I just created. This is my removable disk underneath my Garmin. And the reason I'm being careful here is because if you don't do it this way, it won't work. Okay, so here's all my files, all my music files, and they're in my uh, YouTube folder in my SD card, which is in my <laughs> Zumo. Okay, now I'm going to open Windows Media Player, and if it looks like this, uh, it helps if you have a um, a list over here and the way to get that is you come over here to organize now you might have a different media Windows media version than this so I don't you know maybe they don't all work the same but the way I do it is I come over here to layout I think this is Windows media's player 11 I'm not sure and then if you hit show list you'll get this box over here which is kinda nice so you're gonna open your folder again again making sure you're in your Zumo Okay, U2, see, removable disk P. I'm making sure it's these files and not the files directly from my computer because it won't work. Again, I'm going to select the top one. I'm going to say Control-A. 
selects them all and I'm going to drag all of these over here and that creates a playlist. Now I'm just going to close this window. Make it easier on myself. The music should start playing automatically. It is, you might not be able to hear it right now, but it is playing. You don't have to have it playing for this to work, so you can just hit pause. If it's not highlighted as this one is in blue and there's a little triangle there, you will have to double click on it and make it play because if you don't, you will not get the um, selection on the, I'll show you in a second. So if you hit the Alt key, that's how you get your file menu. You come over here and you see where it says save now playing, save now playing list as, well it would be ghosted out like the one above it if you didn't start playing at least one song. So just so you know, if you end up with it ghosted, just make sure you come over here and click on a song, get it playing, and you can stop it if you want to. Anyway, so you want to go to save now playing list as, and it's very important here that you save it first of all in the right place. So you're going to go navigate this PC, Garmin Zumo, under the Garmin Zumo is my SD card that's in my Garmin. I want this playlist to go into my MP3 folder under Playlists, and it has to be a M3U file, .m3u. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to name the playlist. And I'm going to name this playlist U2, because that's the only thing on there is just U2 songs. Now if you can see up here in this pane, there's nothing listed, but I do have playlists. The reason they're not listed is because the file format is a little bit different. So I'm going to hit save, and then I'm going to open that again, uh, removable disk, mp3, playlists, and you see all my playlists here. They're listed. U2 has a different symbol. That's the one I just created. And as you can see, it says type m3u file. Now this one, it says type m3u8 file and that's why it looks different and that's why these were not showing up when I was trying to save it as this file. But Windows Media uh, Player only allows you to save it as a um, m3u file not the m3u8 so what you have to do is convert that and it's really easy to do. Now if your screen looks like this what you need to do is go to view and right over here this is Windows 8 by the way uh, right over here it says file name extensions. You gotta click on that and then all your extensions pop up. Once you've done that, right click on your new playlist, come down here to rename, and then you're just gonna click in here and you're gonna add an 8. So it's a .m3u8. Hit enter. It's going to give you a warning saying that if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable. We're gonna say we know what we're doing and say yes. And there is the playlist, and it looks the same as the others. Now, because the playlist was created, and it is created in the removable disk, MP3 playlists, and my music is in my U2 folder under my removable disk. I'm going to back in here again one more time. Here, here's my U2 folder. Okay, the reason this is important is because when you make or create the playlist, it is going to point back to the SD card to the U2 folder to play that music. That's why it's important to always be working in the folder that you want to play from when you make a playlist, if that makes any sense. So now I should be able to close this out and I'm going to eject the Zumo. Eject Garmin Zumo and then I'm going to start it up and see if that worked. Okay, here we are at the GPS. So I'm going to hit Tools, Media Player, and right now it's set up an Audible, which is audiobooks. So I'm going to hit Source, switch it to MP3 Source, and then Browse, Playlist, Open Saved Playlist. Here are my playlists. Um, scroll down, little arrow here. There's the one I just created, u2.m3u8. 
I'm going to hit YouTube. And there it is. And it's playing. Uh, song 1 of 11. I put 11 songs in there. So we'll advance a couple of songs here. There's three. And that's all there's to it. So that worked out pretty good. I hope this helps everybody that uh, is trying to do this. It drove me crazy for a while trying to get it right. But I now have the method down. And uh, I'm really enjoying being able to make a playlist very easily. Take care, guys.